Good morning, Year 4. I hope you've all answered uh, cor uh, correctly the, um, the previous uh, comprehension. Now, this is the second reading comprehension. Again, I will remind you, for you to solve any reading comprehension, number one, the first thing you should do is look at the questions first. Then, after, having look after looking at the questions, I go back to my story. I read my story and I try to understand it very well. And then I will answer my questions. All the questions are from the story. There are no questions from outside. Some questions may be an opinion, which means that there is no wrong or right answer. It is your opinion. You might think yes or you might think no. But all the questions are from the text, okay? Now, uh, for if you're ever stuck in any question, try to find a similar word to it to the, in the text and go back to it. Maybe you'd find your answer in that specific paragraph. Now, this story is about the dragon's egg. Okay, um, one day my friend and I went for a walk in the park. Look, I exclaimed, what is, what is that over there? Can you see next to the trees? Shh, let's walk over to it, but don't make a sound, replied my friend. There, next to the trees, was a giant purple and green dragon. By her feet were 10, 12, no, 14 big round white eggs. She opened one of her eyes and looked at us. Oh no, the air around us was very hot. We stopped very still. The dragon moved her head and looked up at the blue sky. She looked at us and then at her eggs. Suddenly she said, I need to fly away to find food, but I can't leave my little eggs. What am I to do? We looked at each other. Can we help you by looking after, your, after the eggs while you look for food? The dragon looked hard at us with both of her yellow eyes. She thought for a long time and then with a whoosh, she was gone. We sat down next to the eggs under the trees. After a little time, we heard a small sound. Tap, tap, one of the eggs started to move. Tap, tap, again. Another egg started to make a sound, and then all of a sudden, all of the eggs were making sounds and moving. What were we to do? What were we to do? From, from out of the sky, the dragon landed down on the earth again. She looked at all of her eggs and was very happy. Thank you for looking after my baby dragons, she said. I'm going to be a mother at last. All right. Now, this story is about a dragon who was in the park, okay, and uh, she was laying eggs, and her eggs were about to hatch. She was going to be a mommy, okay, but she needed to find food for her babies, so she wanted to go, and she did not want to leave them. So she met two, two gentlemen, two kids. They went to her, and they found her, and they said, and they told her that we can look after your dragon, after your baby eggs, she and then she was wondering should i leave them should i give them the responsibility to take care of my eggs while i go look for food and finally she did and she went to get food and she came back and she saw that her baby eggs were hatching now i hope you all understand the story let's start answering the questions question one it says what was next to the trees if you go back to the first paragraph here, you see that, um, can you see next to the trees? Let's walk over to it, but don't make a sound, replied my friend. There, next to the trees was a giant purple and green dragon. So you get your answer from the text. So next, next to the answer for question number one is a giant purple and green dragon. Question two, it says, why did the children think they should be quiet? Why do you think so? Why did you think that they should be quiet? It's because they did not want to, uh, they did not know what was there and did not want to frighten it. They were unsure of what they were about to see. You see, in the story, they were quiet because they did not know when they went to the park, they're like, Shh, there's something there beside the tree. Shh, let's go see it. 
they they did not know what they were about to see okay so they weren't sure of what they were about to see they did not want to scare it or frighten it this is question two question three it says why do you think that the air near the dragon was very hot now this question is an opinion there is no right or wrong answer any valid answer is possible at all it could be a reason why i think it was very hot it could be because the dragon's eggs were hatching and it needed hot air around it because when the dragon's egg they hatch it, they wanted hot air it could be any reason you can think of so any valid answer is possible question four it says what did the dragon look like so they want a description of the dragon how did it look like so it was giant it was big it said in the story they said that the color was purple and green so its color was purple and green and it has yellow eyes this is all mentioned in the story. Question five, it says, how many eggs was she looking after? So how many babies did she have? How many baby egg, dragon eggs was she looking after? When they said in the par paragraph, 10, 12, no, 14. So the answer is 14 eggs. The dragon was looking after 14 eggs. Why did she need to leave her eggs? Question six. Why did she have to go fly away and leave her eggs? Why? It's because she needed to fly away to get food. She needed to get food for her babies. Question seven. Why was she worried about leaving her eggs behind? Why do you think when she was, she was, she felt she was worried that she was leaving her eggs? Why? I think it's because um she was worried if they will be okay they here they here i mean her baby eggs she was worried if they will be okay or if they will hatch because she's leaving them with strangers now she left them with two people that she does not know at all so obviously if any person or animal leaving their babies with someone they don't know they will feel worried right so she was worried because she was wondering, will they be okay? Will they steal my babies? Will they steal the eggs? She's leaving them with strangers, that's why. Question eight, it says, what was she thinking when she looked hard at the children? Now again, question eight is any valid answer is possible. It could be anything you like. Now there is no right or wrong answer for question eight. For question eight, I thought, um, it says, what, what was she thinking when she looked hard at the children? Now, before leaving, before flying away to search for food, she looked at them hard. I think it's because she was looking at them to see if she could trust them, and or she could be thinking about her babies. So she's just looking hard at them, thinking, is it okay if I leave my ex with them? Is it okay if I fly? Could I trust these strangers? I think I think it's somewhere around this line and any valid answer is possible again because this is a, an opinion. Moving on to question number nine. It says, how did you know that the eggs were starting to hatch? So how did you know that the, the eggs were starting to open up and the baby dragons were coming out? Hatch means the eggs opening up, right? Giving birth. So I, it says down in the end, it says that the first egg made, they, it made a small sound and started to move. And then another egg made the sound and started to move. So they made a sound, a small sound and started to move. Question 10, circle the words that you think the dragon might have been feeling when she returned back to her eggs. How do you think the the mommy dragon was feeling when she went back to her eggs, when she went back to see her babies. How do you think that? Happy, I'm sure she felt so happy going back to her babies. Important, I don't think so. I don't think she felt important. It's mainly happy. Little, no, 
magic? Not really. She can't feel magic. Well, there's no magic. There's no powers there. No. Old? I don't think she felt, felt old. I don't think. She felt well. Yes, because well is like good. She felt good, of course. She felt pleased. Obviously, of course, she felt pleased. She felt happy. She felt loved. Definitely love seeing her babies, of course. Cross, cross here means angry. Do you think she felt cross? I don't think she's angry seeing her babies. I think she felt very happy, uh, very well, very good, lots of love. She was pleased. She was content. All of that. All the good thoughts. Now, I hope you all answered correctly. This is an easy comprehension with 10 questions only. But let's go back to the story again one more time. Now, this story, I, this story is not real, all right? It is not real. Now, what do you think this story is? This story is a, is a fantasy story. Now, remember when we talk about the fantasy story? I don't think dragons can speak. That's why I say it's a fantasy story. The, the, dra the dragon told them, I need to fly away to find food, but I can't leave my little eggs. What am I to do? Dragons, could they speak? No, they can't. Dragons do not exist. Now, I don't think you would find dragons flying around flying around the earth, flying around Egypt, for example, searching for food. This is not possible. So this is a fantasy story. It ends nicely. It ends that the mommy goes back to her babies. She gets them food. It's a very nice short story about this dragon and, their and the eggs. But it is a fantasy story. Number one, because it has an animal that could speak. Number two, it has an animal that does not exist at all. I don't think it is possible going to the park one day and finding a dragon. Now, they started the story by one day. Remember how in the PowerPoint presentation, I showed you how you could start a fantasy story? You can start by one day, uh, one sunny day, one cold winter's day one stormy day, one dark day. So they started their story like this. Next, they had in their paragraph that what they found. So in the first paragraph, they described what they found. So they saw a giant purple and green dragon. This is what they found. And by her feet, they had 14 big ground eggs. So the second paragraph was description of what they found. Then it comes to the whole plot of the story. The whole point, the whole twist of the story is, is that the dragon wanted to go get food for her babies, but she did not want to leave them alone. On the other hand, there were strangers. Yes, they were not evil children. They were not bad children. They were good. They took care of her babies, but she did not want to leave her alone, leave them alone with people that she did not know. But the babies, the children were very kind to say that they will look after her babies while she was gone. And then what happened next is that the eggs started to hatch. So the babies, the baby dragon started to come out. And then the mommy dragon came and she was very happy looking at her babies. Now, if you have any question here for, please write it down. And we hope, and the next slide, and next time when we meet, when we talk online, I hope I can answer all your questions. I hope you find this fairly easy and simple. Next lesson, we're doing grammar. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be easy for you all. I'm sure you can understand it. It's going to be about adverbs, but we'll do that next lesson. Thank you so much here for.